What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on our Town Hall 9 Let's Play account and we're going to be doing something I used to do way back in the day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to boost up for a full hour and we're going to see how much loot we can get in that one hour using Mass Goblin slash Goblin Knife uh, and hopefully we can get like 40,000 Dark Elixir, tons of gold, tons of Elixir but before we hop into that we have some loot to spend obviously so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this dark storage this will allow us to be able to hold more dark elixir obviously uh 40 000 more which will help out for upgrading those heroes and then i was looking and i was like hmm i definitely want to get this bow going up so we're going to go ahead and drop that bow down uh get both those bows going to level three and i was looking around and nothing really jumped out a ton that wanted to upgrade it i was looking at the dark elixir drills and they made a lot of sense that way we can just get more dark elixir uh you know that kind of makes a ton of sense to just get more dark elixir passively so i think that's what we're going to do there and then we're going to upgrade a little bit of walls here and then we're going to keep that fifth builder open for the time being uh since we have so many walls to upgrade if we get a lot of loot we can just go ahead and pour it into the walls but before we start the challenge we also have lots of uh gold pass stuff to kind of take a look at so uh going back i think we have everything okay so we still have power potion available we still have books but remember we have like eight books in there but I think we're going to have to start using some of those books of heroes. And we might start using a couple of those at the end of this video. Uh, that way, actually, we could probably use one now because we have enough Dark Elixir. That way, we're not wasting that one that's in there. We have like eight books of heroes. Uh, so let's go ahead and upgrade our queen and we'll use a book of heroes on her. Uh, that way, because remember, we bought those packs way back when. We still have seven books in there. So we got to use those up before the 13 days. Uh, so we'll start getting those heroes grinding and getting them going up. Uh, we got tons of power potions, which we can use those here and there. I'm actually going to use a hero potion for this challenge when we start that. Uh, so we'll be able to collect that other hero potion at the end of the video. Uh, or not at the end of the video, but shortly after. Uh, then we'll have another hero potion. We have a rune of elixir we can collect, 20% research boost we can collect. We can collect this gold right here. Uh, and then we're going to work towards getting that builder boost going. Uh, so pretty good stuff on our gold pass here for the Town Hall 9 account. Uh, lots of good positive stuff in there. We might even be able to upgrade more walls, but... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and collect this treasury loot. And then we can go ahead and upgrade... Oops, not one, just... We'll upgrade a set of walls here. Using elixir, using some uh, gold. Oh, yeah, I figured that would go that way. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to record the numbers we have. I, I'm going to have a post-it note right here. You guys can record the numbers right now as well. Uh, we got 1.514469 gold. We have 2.186756 elixir. And we have 25774 dark elixir so what we're gonna do is we're gonna boost up for one full hour this might be a little bit of a longer video but that's okay we're gonna boost up i'm gonna just try to hit as many raids as possible obviously we will just show off as many of these raids as we can uh let's go ahead and boost up the heroes just to get that going get that boost going and we're gonna go out and we're gonna start hitting some raids with the goblins this is a perfect raid actually uh to start us off next little quick hitter a good amount of loot available now obviously we kind of have two goblin armies ready to go so we have a little bit of an advantage right there but we're going to be in a pretty nice spot here so i want to try to work into the core of this one uh, i'm going to be using clan castle troops when we can and just kind of getting in here and getting as much loot as possible obviously now we're going to go king queen right there get these gobs working right in here we're going to heal rage and those goblins should get right into that core, get that dark elixir, probably even get the town hall down. There we go, nice, that's the way to start. Uh, we are missing a little bit of gold down there, but I'm not sweating it. And that's how we're gonna start, guys. Just like that, we're gonna get quick loot. I'm gonna train up more goblins and we'll be back in a second. Alrighty, guys, normally I would be, wouldn't be so excited because there's not a lot of dark elixir on this one, but if we're going for the loot challenge, we might as well get in here and grab as much of this loot as possible. And we can even grab the town hall out of here. Oh, that's that's oh, that's a lot of traps. Uh, let's go ahead and use our clan castle troops uh, to distract that bomb tower. Then we'll get our goblins in there to take that down. And then we're going to clear this bad boy out, guys. Nice and easy. Give me all that loot. Just like that, guys. Grabbing tons of loot. We're going to... Oh, I feel like we're going to have a nice little session 
getting in here and getting tons of loot. Those goblins going to go in, take out that clan castle, and that's all we want, guys. We'll be back right after this. I mean, we should probably end the raid. We'll be back in a second. 400,000, 400,000. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, this base is perfect. Tons and tons of loot. Let's go ahead and uh, get all the loot from the outside first. Whenever you're using goblins, you want to get all the loot from the outside first. Uh, before trying to get into the base that way your goblins are going to kind of follow the correct path to get inside that base Ooh, we might wall breaker fail there actually they get in there nicely Ooh, we miss a little bit right there but let's go ahead we don't have any clan castle troops this time but that's not a huge concern uh we'll go ahead and go Ooh, i'm worried about that mortar honestly uh let's see what we can do with the queen here let's see what we can get her to take out Alright, let's get in there. We'll get these wall or the goblins going in there. Alright, once they get in, that's going to be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get that all cleared in here. We're going to rage them through. Uh, hopefully they don't all die. Jeez. Alright, they're going. They're going, guys. Go for the town hall. And then they should hopefully go for the dark elixir next. Oh, the clan castle's in the way. Alright, so we're going to miss a little bit of dark elixir on this one. A little bit of sloppiness. That's all right. We still get tons and tons of loot on that one. It was quick hitter. Uh, not the best quick hitter, though. Oh, that was rough. We'll be back in a sec, guys. But this was all about just grabbing loot. This army's super cheap. Grab that loot fast. Get back at it. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and hit this base right here. Some quick, easy loot. And this is usually what we're looking for. Just lots of full collectors and gold mines on the outside. That way we can get in, get our goblins in, and be on our merry way. Now, we are going to try to jump in there and grab that Dark Elixir storage. Because there is quite a bit in there. Ooh, we got some splash over here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our king and queen over here to try to take care of that wizard tower. And then we'll kind of go from there. Let's uh, go ahead and wall break right here. Kind of a bold move putting in all of those wall breaks together. But it works out for us. Uh, we'll put the king in. Hit his ability. Kind of worried that the gobbies are going to go all over the place here. Uh, so let's let some of them go clear this out. And then we're going to jump in the other ones here with the Queen's ability. And they should... Oh, maybe not go where we want them to. Hold on, let's see what the Goblins are going to do. Alright, we're going to heal Rage right through here. You know, with that Wizard Tower and Mortar combo being there, we definitely want them healed up. Just kidding. We do get the Dark Elixir, but I don't know. With that combo being there, we not, might not be able to get through to the Town Hall. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get through there. Queen's doing all right, but we get most of the loot. I don't think... I'm not really worried about winning or losing with this. Uh, when we're using goblins, it's all about just hitting that loot quick. 500,000, 500,000, 3k Dark Elixir, and that's what it's all about, guys. I believe we're like 10 minutes in, and we're already up 10k Dark Elixir. So let's keep that up. Keep those goblins training, and keep hitting those dead bases. All right, guys, a dead Town Hall 11, and we should be able to get a lot of this loot using not too many goblins, which is always huge. Like, whenever you can get as much loot as possible without using too many goblins always a good thing so let's go ahead and get these guys working in here uh, let's go ahead and get some wall breaks in here Ooh, hopefully those wall breakers make it in they took an awkward path there all right they get in we need to get that dark elixir drill right there uh, let's go ahead and throw our king in here just to tank just a little bit Actually, we're pretty good. We probably didn't even need to throw the king in there because we get all the loot. Again, we're not worried about winning or losing. We're just worried about grabbing that loot. We got all that loot real quick. Almost 500,000 elixir, 500,000 uh, gold, and almost 4K dark elixir. Jeez, I cannot talk, guys, but we are killing it right now. We're going to keep it up. These goblins are doing some insane work. We'll be back in a sec, guys, with the next raid. All right, guys, here we go with another huge loot quick hitter. This is what it's all about with the goblins, guys. Just go out boost up for an hour and you can get some insane numbers of loot let's go king and queen right here we do have a couple extra wall breakers so we can just throw them in and get right in there get that and we're gonna grab all this loot and we're gonna try to actually work in towards the center of the base actually here uh, i want the queen to take out that wizard tower that's what i'm kind of waiting on here let's throw in our clan castle over here to try to tank that mortar a little bit all right, great. We can go in towards the center, and then the goblins should be able to kind of break out through the other side. All right, no giant bombs. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rage through here, and then see where they kind of go. Uh, they're going to kind of go all over the place over here on the other side. We need them to get that dark elixir, though. Go, 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 go. 
All right, nice. They're getting there. All right, Dark Elixir goes down. And then we're just missing what's in the drills. Not too bad, guys. Easy money raid right there. 600,000, 600,000, 2,500 Dark Elixir. Not bad at all, right, guys? We're just keeping it up. And I wonder if we destroyed a cannon. If so, that gets us a little bit more points. Nice. And that gets us to 2,000. So we can claim, claim the Shovel of Obstacles. So we are on our way. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to... Uh, while we're waiting on stuff, I'm going to just uh, request on Big Rock for a donation. We're just going to throw whatever in there. We'll throw in one giant. And then that'll get us that completed. And we are doing well, guys. There we go, 2100. And we will be back here in a second. We're just waiting on some goblins. And we'll go hit some more loot. All right, guys, let's see how we can do on this one. We're going to have to work for it a little bit more on this one. But let's go ahead and start by clearing the outside loot. Always work on the outside loot first. Uh... Just easier that way that way we, when you start to work in your goblins aren't going to get distracted go all around now i noticed the storages are really full but i thought that this one had some pretty accessible uh a pretty accessible dark elixir sorry i was trying to think what to do there uh so that's why i thought this would be a good move to hit this one let's go ahead and get that working in there hit the queen's ability here we'll hit the king's ability here these goblins are probably about to go all over the place, actually. Now, let's go and throw our P.E.K.K.A. in up there. Uh, I'm, I'm worried these guys are going to go... Yeah, see, they're going to go all over the place right now. Uh, let's go ahead. We should have probably threw our P.E.K.K.A. into where we were going right here. All right, that works out. Let's see if we can get... Oh, goblins, why you do this stuff to me, man? All right, we're going to get these goblins over here to take out these. Oh, my goodness, this is going to be a disaster. All right, there we go. We're into the center. All right, we're gonna heal Rage in the center. We can even get the Town Hall down here. Let's go ahead and freeze that stuff. Uh-oh, this, this might not actually be that great. Go, Goblins, go! Go, Goblins, go, get the Town Hall! Oh, we're so close. All right, Town Hall falls. Uh, so we're gonna leave a little bit of gold and elixir on the table, but that's not a huge concern. We could throw our last four goblins in over here and try to get that little bit of gold. But the main thing there was we got tons and tons of dark elixir, which is always a positive. Uh, so let's go ahead and end that. And then we're going to go ahead and wait for some goblins to train up. It's still a super positive raid. Uh, almost 450,000 gold, 500,000 elixir, basically. 3,800 dark elixir, and we get a star from it. So we didn't lose any trophies. Be back in a sec, guys. Alrighty, guys, let's see if we can smack this one. There's a good amount of loot, but some of it's a little bit inside, and we're going to have to work on. We're up quite a bit of uh, elixir gold and dark elixir already, which is nice. But we need those numbers to go up even more. So let's see what we can do here. Uh trying to look the best way to kind of go about this here let's put our king and queen here all right those guys are going to go over there oh we we have oh that, that mortar combo is going to be a little bit oh we don't have any jumps uh oh i didn't realize we didn't have any jumps on this one that could be a little bit of a problem uh because we're not going to have any way to get into the core of the base uh and everything's just going to go around that's that's not good uh all right uh let's see what we can do here I guess we'll try to make it work let's go ahead and heal the gobs there we're gonna have to reevaluate our spells oh man our spells are all jacked up guys all right so if we can get that cleared out which I don't know if we will all right let's see uh, see they want to just go all over the place right now oh that's rough guys that is so rough goblins why you do this to me man all right, uh, all right, maybe if we get that down, Queen goes down. All right, they're trying to work in here. Let's see if we can heal and rage them right there. Get them in that spot and get in for the Dark Elixir, guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, all right, sketchy, but we get there. <laughs> we got there. Uh, that was super sketchy, but uh, we still get tons and tons of gold elixir and dark elixir on that one. That's nice, guys. Super sketchy raid. We'll be back in a sec. More gobbies. I gotta get those spells fixed. Alrighty, guys, this is what we need. We're not gonna probably be able to clear out the storages, but we'll clear out as much as we can on this one. Uh, nice base. It's not even a dead base. It just looks like he's like pretty much a max nine, maybe? That's pretty interesting, but we're gonna try to get as much of this loot as possible. We got clan castle troops in here, and we are good. So let me see. Those mortars are pretty well covering everything here. Now let's go. Our king, our P.E.K.K.A., our queen right in here 
And then we'll go wall breakers in here. Just kidding, wall breakers. Okay, wall breakers get in finally. And we'll get a jump right in here. Which we should be able to get quite a bit in here. We'll go a heal, rage. That's gonna be nice. We're gonna actually freeze that wizard tower and that mortar. That way we can get as much out of this core as possible. That is beautiful. Uh, let's see where the goblins are going next. Uh, they're gonna go over there. Like I said, we're gonna not be able to clear out all these storages, but we'll get as much as we can. Uh, let's see if we can get some of this stuff worked out right here. So there's a little bit of gold that's really accessible. And we'll just throw in whatever little bit of goblins we have left. So that our P.E.K.K.A. going. Oh, that was a positive raid, guys. Look at that. 800,000, 850,000, 4K Dark Elixir. We're already up 30,000 Dark Elixir, guys. And we have tons of time. We're up like 5 million gold. We're already up like 4 million Elixir. And we still have 20 minutes left on boost. Oh my goodness. We're about to set some huge numbers out here. So let's go ahead and get more Goblins training up. And this is how I do it, guys. Uh, usually just in between. We just fill it up like that. Uh, and then I'll take a look at our spells. We need a little bit of everything, so we'll kind of go like that. And that's how we're going to get down. We'll throw a poison in here, just in case. And bam, just like that, we're going to be done with that. Let's check out Season Pass is all good. We need that tw that 20% training boost would even make this even better. We're at 15%, but 20% would make that even better. Our Season Bank is full, so we need uh, to get our Season Bank bigger which that's up there so we're doing pretty well guys i'll be back in a sec we're gonna hit that next goblin right here shortly Alrighty, guys so having a little bit of a slow time trying to find something huge so what we'll do is we'll hit this one i mean it's got some good loot on it it's not a monster of a raid but sometimes you just gotta hit a little one uh that way you can just keep it moving and keep that momentum up so that's what we're gonna do here uh, we're gonna throw these guys in here a wall breaks to try to get in nice wall breakers get in and then we're gonna have to use our heroes over here to kind of take this wizard tower out we'll get all these guys right in here and i think what we're going to do is we're going to heal right here we're going to rage those gobs up and if they can get in, the, get in there they can take out quite a bit come back there we go right through the heal nice get that all out get the last of the dark elixir and let's see we got some gold over here a little bit of elixir over here it'll be kind of hard to grab that Let's see if we can get in up here. A little bit of elixir right here. Why are those wall breakers going all the way over there? Come on, wall breakers. Why do you do this to me, man? All right, so we're going to leave a little bit of gold on the table, but that's okay. Not the biggest deal. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and bounce out of there. Uh, like I said, not a huge raid, but still profits all around. That's what it's all about. Just hit those profits rather than nexting, nexting, nexting. Uh, and then our army's probably about ready, so we can just hop right back out and find another base. Alrighty, guys, this is what we're talking about. Huge gold, huge elixir, and some good dark elixir, 4K dark elixir in there as well. So again, start by clearing out the outsides. Oof, that's, that's like a double wizard tower right there. That's not a good combo for some goblins. Let's go ahead and try to distract that. Let's see if we can get our wall breaks in here. Nice, that'll work. We'll get those in there. I need one of those wizard towers at least to go down. <laughs> that way we can send in some more goblins. All right, there we go. Goblins will clear out. We can actually clear out that side or get into the center through that side. So we'll wait and we'll kind of come back there here in a sec. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll come in with the jump right here and then we'll get all the gobs going in here. We'll rage, we'll heal. And that is going to be beautiful. Let's go. Goblins get the Dark Elixir out of the center. Oh, a Giant Bomb goes off. I was going to heal them, but the Giant Bomb went off. So I wasn't really sure how much we had left. But that's still super positive. Eh, we might be able to actually get in here. Let's see. See if we can wall breaker right in here. And then see if we can get this last little bit of loot here. Go, Goblins, go. Watch out for the mortar. Oh, we might actually be close enough. Oh, nope, the mortar still shoots. All right, not bad. We get some good loot out of that one, guys. Quick hitter, uh, and oof, we are we're okay. Let's go home and see how much time we have. Seven hundred thousand, almost seven hundred thousand elixir. Thirty-six hundred dark elixir. Let's take a look at our boost time. We have nine minutes left, so we're still in a good situation. Uh, make sure our spells aren't messed up. Let's go ahead and move up a jump spell there. We can get up to eight million. We can almost max out. All right, here's what we're gonna do uh, since we're close. We're gonna spend 
950 gold, or 850 gold, and 850 uh, elixir. So we'll know we'll know where we're at. We'll be back in a second. Uh, so we'll just add 850 to our totals at the end. Be back in a quick sec, guys. All right, guys. So sometimes what you want to do is if there's some easy loot on the outside, like all those dark elixirs right here, you just want to go grab that. We can get this not using too many goblins at all. And then we could be on our merry way and go get some more. So we're going to grab this Dark Elixir, end the raid, and just like that, we grab 3,000 Dark Elixir, and we're going to go hit the next raid because we need Dark Elixir for those heroes, guys. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and smack this base, and I think we should have one more army ready uh, so we can try to get some more loot and go from there. But I think we're going to end up like up 40,000 Dark Elixir and tons and tons of Golden Elixir for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and use this P.E.K.K.A. here to distract. Go wall breaker right in there. And let's go ahead and try to distract a little bit more. I'm just trying to clear out that golden elixir right there. All right, let's see if we can get these guys going up in the center and distract those wizard towers. That would be great. Oh, wall breakers. Why do you do these things, wall breakers? All right, they open up a compartment we didn't really need opened. That's all right. Let's go ahead and get our goblins going into the center of the base here. With the king's ability. Heal. Rage. We should be able to get through the town hall. Get through the dark elixir storage. Nice. That's exactly what we need. Now, we're going to leave a little bit on the table here, but not much. So, what we'll do is we're going to hit that last raid, and then we'll tally up our numbers and see where we finish at here, guys. So, let's go ahead and finish that one off. 500,000, 600,000, 3,600 Dark Elixir. We'll be back in a second with our final raid. All right, guys, let's see how we finish on this one right here. This will be our last raid. We were like a minute and a half over, maybe two minutes over uh, the boost time with our last Goblin Army. But let's go ahead and start clearing out the outside with the Gobbies. Uh, pretty much the same stuff we've been doing. Nothing different there. Um, then we're going to try to figure out where we want to go in with the heroes and stuff. Actually, if we can save a little bit of goblins, that would be great because we are really... Eh, I guess if we're going for the one-hour challenge, we gotta, we got to go all in, right? All right, so let's get... I'm going to hit the king's ability here. I'm going to try to get this P.E.K.K.A. going in there. Oh, stay alive, wall breakers. All right, wall breakers stay up. The only problem is that the goblins are probably... Okay, if the, queen, if the queen can get that down, it'll give us a nice little jump right in there. All right, queen. Do your thing. No way the, the goblins are going over there. Oh, my goodness. Goblins, give me a break. All right. We gotta wait for that stuff to clear out. All right, we get some goblins into the core. Let's go. There we go. Uh, heal them up. Rage them up. And we will just dump in the rest of our goblins. We're going to Town Hall Falls. Dump in the rest here. We'll heal them up. And we will finish off the challenge on this raid right here. Poison the Queen just because. Why not poison the Queen? But man, this was an absolutely monster of a challenge, guys. We got tons and tons of loot. Rack up a little bit more gold there. Nice. I like it. We could even let that P.E.K.K.A. go a little bit longer if we wanted. Uh, and we might as well. We might as well let it go. Go, Pekka, go. So this, I mean, this is pretty positive. I mean, the initial numbers are just under 50,000 Dark Elixir gained in one hour, guys. Just under that. Uh, we gained just under, let's see, we were at six. Almost seven million gold in one hour. And then right about, what, what would that be? Eight. Hold on a second. All right, uh, we'll hit that. Let's see, we're at six, oh, just about six, almost eight million, six to seven million, six to seven million elixir. Uh, so we started at 1.5 million gold. Remember, we spent 850,000 gold. Uh, so we add on that on top. So that brings us to like 8.5. So we gain about seven million gold. We started at 2.1 million elixir. Uh, we add on the 850. Uh, that brings us up to what? 8.7-ish, 8 8.7, 8 8.8. Um, so that's like what 6.7 million elixir gain and then we started at 25.7 thousand dark elixir we're at 73.6 we can even i mean we could even top off a little bit right there uh so we gain just under 50 thousand dark elixir and the one hour boost guys that's absolutely insane 
under 50,000. Let's see, that's 46. Oh, we're so close to upgrading both heroes. So let's go ahead. We'll get our queen up. And we will get... Oh, man, the king is so close. Let's see if we can go find, like, just a little bit of Dark Elixir to snipe off to get the king up. We need, like, 2,000. I'm going to train a few goblins. Uh, so this won't go to our total numbers. But, man, almost 50,000 Dark Elixir, guys. Uh, that's going to be huge. So I'm literally just going to look for some Dark Elixir to snipe real quick. Uh, that way we can get that king upgrading as well. So I'll be back in a quick sec. All right, guys, let's see if we can grab the Dark Elixir we need right here. Uh, so we're going to put just a little bit in there to distract. We'll throw those goblins right there. And then we'll throw our queen over here. I'm going to try to help her out just a little bit. I've thrown in those goblins to clear out. And then if she can get in there and get that drill, we will get everything we need to upgrade that king. Which will be nice. I mean, that's what, three hero upgrades in this one episode? Oh man, that is nuts, guys. So there we go. Queen gets in there. Uh, we get the 2700 dark elixir and we can upgrade our king just like that so again we got to use these books up rather than waste uh it's, it's really rough guys it's a real like catch 22 like i don't want to lose a book but at the same time ooh, we get that and we get some more dark elixir like at the same time it might be worth like sacrificing that book uh it's just so rough because these times are so low i don't think i'm going to jump up the or not book up the hero there the king time I just don't like, uh, I feel like that's just such a waste for a one day upgrade. I don't know, we get the discounts on him, but pretty huge episode, let's, oh crap, hold on. No, we need to get him up. Look, let's just, let's use some gems. Uh, should we use some gems, should we use some books? I'm so torn, guys, I'm so torn. We still have six books to use. And I don't wanna sell a book for 50 gems. All right, let's go ahead and just use a book. At least we get some value out of it. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade let's upgrade some walls. We'll go, jeez, oh these walls are so cheap. We'll go some walls with that. Get some walls with that. I, I can't press the button, guys. All right, and then let's, uh, let's see if we can grab this section of walls here. That way we're just not maxed out on loot. We can kind of work on that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll upgrade the drill, and then we'll kind of upgrade this little stuff right here uh, before the next episode happens. So not too bad. We'll get all that stuff kind of going. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and pop a nice little bo builder boost. That way uh, we'll get that bow finished up fast. And we can drop down the collectors and gold mines and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Crazy loot on this one. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.